I, I missed my segue already. That was nice. My, my, my Apple fitness tracker said I had negative steps. <laughs> of course, the story everybody's talking about tonight is the story everybody will be talking about tomorrow, because it's Donald Trump. <laughs> Trump is planning to give a major immigration policy speech Wednesday in Arizona. Now, he was originally supposed to give it last Thursday in Colorado, so it moved later and further south. If he delays it again, it's Monday at the Panama Canal. <laughs> but he has to give this speech sooner or later because immigration has gone from being the one thing everyone th they thought they knew about Donald Trump to, and I'm quoting his supporters here, huh? <laughs> so, hope I'm pronouncing that. Huh? So it's time to clear this up, but not too much. Because while what Trump's saying now sounds confused and meaningless, he might just be confused and meaningless like a fox. And that brings us to tonight's word. <laughs> Double vision. Now, folks, from the very beginning, Trump's campaign has been based on two things. He's based it on build the wall and deport them all. And, folks, <laughs> that worked great in the primaries, but just look at any recent poll. The thing is, in recent polls, Trump's numbers have shrunk. You see, his attacks on Mexicans and Muslims are clearly hurting him with moderate voters. So, just last week, in a town hall, Trump toned down his immigration tough talk. Is there any part of the law that you might be able to change that would accommodate those people that contribute to society, have been law-abiding, have kids here? There certainly can be a softening. Yes, there could be a softening. It happens to a lot of men his age. <laughs> but the next day... <laughs> but the next day... He went soft on the softening. He used the word softening. Well, I don't think it's a softening. I think it's... But it's, 11 million people are I, no look, longer going to be deported. I've had people say it's a hardening, actually. But, but... <laughs> okay, so it's a softening that's also a hardening. And <laughs> I, I gotta say, I believe Trump because at the town hall the night before, Right after he announced the initial softening, he immediately hardened it. Who wants those people thrown out? I do. I love this guy. This is my guy. Did you hear that? <laughs> he had just said he wouldn't throw everyone out, but then one guy yells, throw them all out, and suddenly he's like, this is my guy. <laughs> and that... That is innovative leadership. You see, for years, politicians have been so afraid of immigration reform, that they wouldn't take any position. Now Donald Trump has taken two. And keep in mind, and this is important, keep in mind that this is not flip-flopping. He's not saying up, then changing his mind to down. His position is a firm up-down. <laughs> and it's not just Mexicans. He also has clear positions on Muslims. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. Firm. Now let's try soft. It's a temporary ban. It hasn't been called for yet. Nobody's done it. This is just a suggestion. Okay, but <laughs> if it's just a suggestion and nobody's called for it and he called for it, does that mean he's nobody? <laughs> Plus... Trump has promised to bring overseas jobs back to America, and at the same time, his shirts are made in Bangladesh, his ties in China, his suits in Mexico. So, whatever, whatever you believe, Trump agrees with you. I don't know why he's not getting 100% of the vote. So, to win this election, Trump is going to have to take every position on every issue other than, obviously, whether Hillary should be president. She will be a terrible president. Well, I know her, and she'd make a good president. 
Wow. <laughs> he is fan terrible. <laughs> and that's the word. We'll be right back.